Radioactivity is the process in which an unstable nucleus loses some of its energy by emitting ionising radiation and is thus transformed into another nucleus. This can be another isotope of the same element or a completely different element. The latter process is known as nuclear transmutation. Radioactivity was first discovered in 1896 by French physicist Henri Becquerel. Just a year before, X-rays had been discovered by Wilhelm Röntgen by using fluorescent materials. Becquerel, who had done work on fluorescence and phosphorescence, like his father before him, decided to investigate this phenomenon further. He used potassium uranyl sulfate, exposing it to sunlight and then placing it on a covered photographic plate. As expected, the developed plate showed an image of the crystals. Becquerel knew the crystals were emitting some kind of radiation that could get through paper, but he thought the crystals were absorbing energy from sunlight and then emitting X-rays. Over the next few days, Paris was cloudy, so the experiments were unable to continue. Becquerel placed the uranium crystals in a desk drawer, along with a photographic plate. After a week, he took them out and was amazed to see that the crystals had left a very clear image on the plate, even without exposure to sunlight. This meant the crystals were emitting radiation spontaneously and without an external source of energy. They were radioactive. The discovery of these Becquerel rays was soon published, but went largely unnoticed by the scientific community, which was still more excited about Röntgen's more powerful X-rays. One person who did notice was the French-Polish scientist Marie Curie, who was fascinated by this new type of radiation and began investigating it immediately. Teaming up with her French husband Pierre, she measured the faint electrical currents surrounding different uranium samples and found that the intensity of the radiation was directly proportional to the amount of uranium present, but was unaffected by changes in temperature or chemical state. The first use of the term radioactive was in about 1898 in one of Marie's notebooks. After analysing other elements, the Curies found that thorium also emitted similar radiation, but some of their mineral samples gave out more radiation than both thorium and uranium combined. Marie realised that this meant there must be some highly radioactive unknown substance in the samples, and by the end of 1898 she had discovered two new elements, polonium and radium. It was soon discovered that there is more than one type of radiation. New Zealand physicist Ernest Rutherford, who helped J.J. Thompson discover the electron in 1897, started investigating Becquerel rays and found uranium gave off two distinct types of radiation, which he named Alpha and Beta in 1899. It was also discovered that uranium gives off gamma radiation in 1900. Up until this point, atoms were considered indivisible, but Rutherford and his lab assistants showed that radiation involves an atom disintegrating and transforming into another element or isotope. For this work, he won the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1908 and went on to discover the planetary structure of the atom in his famous gold foil experiment over the next three years. He successfully achieved the first artificial transmutation in 1919 by bombarding nitrogen atoms with alpha particles to produce oxygen.